You know what? I be so glad when people stop observing people. Why am I observing you? Why are you observing me? Why are you observing other people? Why are you observing... He, she, I... Stop observing people. What it do, weirdos? We are... The weirdos. We're at home. We are... The best. Ten minutes on the clock. And today's video is a more serious video. It's not a reaction. Um, if you all remember, um, at the time it was just me and Didi. We were doing the inspirational videos. But now we were, of course, going to include everybody. And sometimes you will see us do it in pairs or, you know, number of three or whatever because we want to get this message to you. Um, so this is another inspirational video. And this is called Stop Observing. And yeah. we have 10 minutes on the clock because last time our video was a little bit too long. So we're timing ourselves. To speak the truth to you guys and get as much revelation to you guys as much as possible so basically this topic is basically saying stop observing people observe your own life and stop observing other people's lives because it can be a very negative thing and also you can get yourself into trouble with dipping into other people's business yep. so yeah we're gonna talk about that and if you guys want to join the conversation you know you can email us you can put it in the comment section below or also you can send it in a video of you spitting your knowledge of what you feel about the topic so this is called stop observing what are your take on observing? Oh, we just want on her? No, I'm saying. Okay. Oh, well, I will say this. If you are going to observe, observe someone's life, let it be in an inspirational way. Don't do it out of negativity. Because what I noticed, especially in this world today, especially on social media, we observe only that picture or only that video. We're not looking or seeing what's happening when that camera goes off or whatever they're doing. So, don't judge people because no one else wants to be judged because we're all doing different things in life that we either like to do or either we ain't got no choice because life presents it to us but don't judge people let people be them you be you because once you start judging people trust and believe there's always somebody behind you it's like a line you're judging the back of that person's head somebody else is behind you judging the back of your head so it is absolutely no reason for anybody to be talking about anybody else if you are looking at somebody's life in an inspirational way, then yeah, that's fine. I want to be an uh, inspirational speaker. I want to lose weight. That's fine. But if, oh, she ugly, he ugly, just, you are putting out negative energy that's going to be a boomerang and come right back around and hit you in your neck. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I would say don't judge people because everybody got their own problems. And it's like, well, what about you? Like, people don't think about, oh, if you say something like this, then how would you feel if somebody would say that to you? And it's just like... You can't say certain things because you don't know how that affects the person. Mm -hmm. So I would say don't judge people because it's like we all have our own problems. And like Marquis will always say, if we open that closet, everybody going to have skeletons to fall out. And that's not something that we want to reveal. So we're just going to push it back in there and just look at yourself and just try to, you know, improve on what you're doing instead of trying to improve what other people are doing. And also, you should never judge others because you don't never know what that person is going through. Yes! Exactly. Hello. Exactly. Yes. The person could probably have a smile on their face, but internally they are hurting. And you putting negativity out there and putting it and spreading it to them, that is only just hurting them and making them more depressed and making them feel worse about themselves. So sh you shouldn't do that whatsoever. Exactly. Right. Um, my take on observing people, whenever I think about observing people, I think about, um, for example, Let's take people in the news, or let's just take people, singer, actresses, dancers, whatever. They do something that you don't like, and you go down on them. Okay, fine. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. That's that's great, because I have a right to mine. They have a right to theirs. You have a mm -hmm. right to yours. Whoever, even the President of the United States, has the right to his. But my thing is, why are you observing what they do, and you coming down on what they do, when, like they said, if we turn around and observe what you do or what you have done or what stuff you have messed up and caused to be crazy and stuff like that that you are not proud of nobody in this world would speak to anybody exactly. like okay let's take k-pop k-pop is like a pool of observation for example if someone does something okay if you don't like it that's fine if you like it you like it whatever leave them alone it's their business stop observing their life why do they do this? Why are they wearing this? They don't need to do this. They don't know the understanding and the meaning of this. Blah, 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 blah. Well, can you can you figure out the understanding of what you're doing? And if you don't have anything positive to say about it, don't say anything Yeah, just don't say anything at all. 
But yeah, I heard I heard this one this one young lady on Instagram. I can't remember her name, but uh, Dee Dee introduced me to her. Basically, she was saying, if I have nothing nice to say, mm -hmm. I pray. Mm -hmm. That's all I do. Yes, there are plenty of things that we see, and not in just K-pop, but in the world, at home, at work, at school. There are plenty of things that we see that we don't like or we're going to have a question about. Yep. But why would I have something bad to say? Because number one, you're going to have negativity in your life anyway. Yep. And all you're doing is adding fuel to the fire. Because, again, it comes back around. If we turn around and we look at all the things that you're doing and we questioning you, you're going to say the same thing. Dang, can you get off of me? So that's what I noticed a lot in this world today. Why are we observing each other? We need to observe from the, the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. We need to observe everything that we're doing. Because you know what? If we break it down, God is up. That's, that's the only one. That one. We're doing. That's the only one he's, that can truly yes, judge. Yes, he's nope. the one that's observing everything that we do. And I'm pretty sure there's some things that he is not pleased with. Yes. Starting with us. We every time we give inspirational videos, we include us in it. It hits us first. It, yeah. us, it hits us first because number one, we're human. Number one, we didn't make ourselves. We're made by God. Yeah. And so we're I think, yeah, exactly. yeah, and I, I think that's where, especially a lot of people who are strong enough in that area as of yet, because everybody has their own strength, they just have to unlock it. Mm -hmm. For the people that are going through that, and you're observing them, and you're coming down on them, and you're questioning them, it's not helping them. Not it's making all. them feel worse and it's making them feel like it's their fault okay yeah you are responsible for your actions but you're supposed to help you're supposed to give support now if you're wrong let's just say if one of you know them are wrong or if i am wrong they're gonna come to me and be like well here's my take on it i feel or we feel that you are wrong you know it's up to me to accept it or not but i can't say you know don't say that to me because number one they have right to their opinion they have a right to what they exactly. want to say. But if people in this world would just stop observing what everyone else is doing and only observe what they're doing, it'd be a better place. And then people actually say it in a better way because some people don't think before they speak. Oh, they don't. And they yes. have a tendency of saying things without actually thinking about how that person is going to take it. Like, you know, put a person's feelings in perspective when you say things. Mm -hmm. And that can actually hurt a person like in your head you like oh this is okay i can say this i can say this but mm -hmm. what you're saying is really hurting me and that is wrong a lot of people just need to think about think before they speak yeah but a lot of people don't, don't use their head a lot of times some things just don't need to be said at all yeah, at all yeah. because you can say something and then boom like you don't mess up their whole life and it's just like well i didn't mean to say, you shouldn't have said it at all mm -hmm. like you just sometimes need to keep your mouth closed because if I say something to Asia and I hurt her feelings, God gonna get me. He ain't exactly. gonna get her. And I don't have time to be in the line of fire. So some things I just don't say, some things I just pray about. Now, even though yes, everyone has their right to their own opinion, freedom of speech is not an excuse to say what you wanna say. Exactly. Because if you threaten the president, you gonna go to jail. Pretty that much. ain't freedom of speech. So you just need to chill, say what you gotta say in a good way, and just live your own life. Don't live other people's lives. Do what you gotta do to keep yourself right. Yes, yeah, because at the end of the day, and this is something that I learned from my mother and my grandmother, at the end of the day, everyone is gonna do what they want to do. Pretty much. So while you over here questioning someone why they do this, why they look like this, why do they dress like this, why do they listen to K-pop, why do they do their hair like this, blah, blah, blah. And if we start questioning you, then you're going to be like, um, I'm grown. I can do what I want to do. You don't need to be in this kitchen or, you know, how they say it, you know, oh, why you coming at me? Don't come for me. Well, if you don't want no one to come for you, don't come for no one else. Well, I'll put it to you this way. You can't be a judge sitting on the stand as well. That ain't going to work. Oh, my Lord. That is you can't be so good. Yes. You can't do that. That's not going to work. Now, yes, we have our own opinions. And like they're saying, some things are better left unsaid. Mm -hmm. Some things, yes, we're not going to like. But that does not mean that you constantly have to voice it. Because right. I'm telling you, whether you believe in the word of God or not, you read what you saw, I put it in worldly terms. Karma comes back for everybody and she always bring her receipts and yes, you cannot yes. deny her a receipt because she's going to get her refund. Mm -hmm. So I'm yes. telling you now, you cannot be a judge and be on the stand at the same time. You will have to pick your seats, either one, whatever you're going to do. But I totally agree with what they're saying. Don't judge people. Don't do it because it'll come right back around to you. If you know it's not going to be nice, say it internally. 
You don't have to voice that out there. Say it internally. Sometimes it's better just for us. And I think that's a blessing God has given us. He allows us to say things in our minds that we can only hear. Not everybody else. Because I'm pretty sure if God gave us a chance to hear everybody's voices, so many people would be so cutthroat today. It would be out of control. But don't judge people. Look at yourself first before you start judging other folk. Because you might think that they're doing something. But in a different form, you're doing the same thing. It is literally downright the same thing. So don't don't judge people. Ain't no use in it. It's not. And, 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 it, and it really... It gets to me. It boils my blood. Um, whether you, and you don't have to be nobody famous. You can be a friend. You can be a family member. You can be an associate on the street. Like, okay, why are you worried about what I do? And the only one that I have to answer to is God. That's the only one. And again, we're not trying to say people should be Christian. No, this is just us. But if you think about it, God is the one that made us. So therefore, we're the only ones that he that we should answer to. You know what exactly. I'm saying? And I just don't understand how it's funny how people have so much to say, but when it comes to their problems, cat got your tongue. And it's like, well, I did this because of blah blah blah, and they have weak excuses. You were not put on this earth to observe everyone else's you life. You don't. You're not. You were not. And don't judge me if you're doing the same thing. Don't do like it. Because, like, if you're doing the same thing as me, then what you just told me, you need to bring it back to yourself. Right. Because apparently, company. you can look at me and judge me, mm -hmm. but you go around doing the same thing. And But when somebody confronts you, you like, why you want me? Like she said, get off me. Like, no, just stay in your lane because I did not give you the permission to get in my driver's seat and drive my car. Exactly. exactly. You need to get in the trunk because you're a trunk monkey to me. Oh, you know? yeah. Like, like, I'm just saying. Like, and God sees the heart of everybody. You never know why someone's doing what they're doing. You might not agree with it, but God sees their heart. Now, is that an excuse for you to go murder somebody because, oh, God, see my heart? No, it's not. But only God can judge and only God knows the truth. Because like Kiki said, if God wants to bring down a projector screen and project everything that you have done, you know when you turn around and look at other people, shame shame on thy shame and you already know how it is so like they like shame was saying like q was saying don't try to get in my car why are you worried about someone else and you know what shout out to quadir howard why are you trying to act like you don't have this plate when i'm the one that just served you what? That, that that's what i'm saying i have no business observing what baby bear does yeah oh you said about the car right well yes, yes. what yes. Uh, what dd bear what Kiba, what you do what he she do what someone all the way in new zealand does career i have no right now you can't stop me from looking but i have no right to observe you in the manner of judging you and questioning you of what you do and why you do it you know what i even break it down for example if i want to go out right now and buy a $3,000 ring. Nobody has no business saying anything to me. Nobody has any business observing me because I bought that ring because number one, did I ask you to pay for it? Exactly. Number two, that's my money that I work, that I get out of my bed, that, that I, I save, that clock that I saved. And then number two, you're gonna buy what you wanna buy, exactly. you're gonna do what you wanna do, so therefore shut your mouth. Exactly. 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 So is that all the time we got? That is the time. That is all the time we got. Well. Yes, 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 yes. We hope you uh you guys and you widows get the message and we hope that you relate to someone else. We will be doing more videos where we will do it under uh, ten minutes. I don't know why this bougie clock is still going. Take it. Take it. <laughs> If you just live your life, as we say, live your life, stop and observing. The yes, and you stop observing others. And stop judging. Yes. yes, and also stop allowing other people to observe you. Your life will be so much better because the only one that is observing your life and has the right to is God. And that is the only one that matters. That Everyone matters. else can Everyone do it. Everyone don't matter. matter. Yes, because you were not made to meet their expectations. Especially if it's yes. negative. Yes. So, you know, we hope you guys enjoyed that little talk. If you have more topics that you would like for us to do, please send them in. We're on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, you know, here. Um, so, if you want to see us do more, let us know. And if you have any specific questions for us to answer and, and you know, about, you know, life problems, if you feel comfortable um, to do it, let us know. But we love you guys. We do this all in love. And we just want you to realize that you were beautifully made. You were made by the one true yes. God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are yes. Yes, 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 yes. 
you would go through life and you would snatch those wigs and you would put it in the oven and you would serve it to the boys and girls of the world. Yeah. Yeah. We love you so much. Does anyone have anything else to say? Yeah. Spread more love, less hate. Yes. yes. Say, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it. Pray. So you know oh, it? Yes, exactly. Pray. So with that being said, you're going to live your life and you're going to know that breadcrumbs and we will see you in the next video. Love you. <laughs>